This is Lindor's second straight week being honored as the AL Player of the Week, this time sharing the award with Mariners pitcher James Paxton, who threw a no-hitter against the Blue Jays. Lindor has earned this award again with his bat. With an impressive slash line of .600, .652, .400, Lindor knocked eight extra base hits, including four home runs this week. His impressive week has extended his hitting streak to 14 games right now, a career best. What the Cleveland Indians can do when Lindor is on his game is just remarkable. He's the table setter for this offense and when he's going good, anything can happen. Back-to-back -back honor Slender won this award for the week ending on May 6 as well. He also hit four home runs that week and put up ridiculous, video game-like numbers. He knocked in 10 RBIs that week. This is an extended hot streak that Lindor is on right right now. Very rarely can a player win back-to-back -back Player of the Week awards. This is only the second time Lindor has ever won Player of the Week. He's never won that award before in his career. Now he's won it twice in two weeks. How hot has Lindor been? The heat readings on Lindor's bat right now are off the charts. Pitchers just can't get him out. The pinnacle of this hot streak so far was his 4-for-4 four four day on Saturday with two doubles and two home runs. Before Lindor started his hitting streak on April 29, his batting average was at .225, which is shockingly low. Now, after just two weeks being on a tear, he's raised his batting average almost 100 points to the .321 it sits at right now. That's just incredible. Even though it's made to raise a batting average almost 100 points in just two weeks is unheard of. His on-base percentage has risen from .307 to .388. His slugging percentage has risen from .402 to .624. Whatever Lindor did at the beginning of his hot streak, he needs to keep on doing. Many people have complained about the offense overall from this team, but if Lindor keeps this up, there is no doubt in anyone's mind that they will be just fine. The Cleveland Indians needed an offensive outbreak from someone and Lindor has elected to take on that role himself. And Terry Francona is probably okay with that.